Hi everyone, Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with a double layout update. We're going to start with O gauge, we're going to be up here at the top first and we'll work our way down. Um, I did find a couple of pieces recently. First, we're going to start with this UP flat car. Both of these pieces are Lionel. As you see, the trucks are messed up, which these will be replaced by with the 6 140 78 truck. Um, I'll be stripping this down for rebuilding real soon and possibly put a load on it. Next is the U.S. Mail Railway Post Office boxcar that Lionel produced. Uh, the shell is in really good shape. The couplers are, are busted a little bit, and the wheels are worn out. So this one will be also stripped out for rebuilding as well. So this is actually my favorite boxcar that Lionel produced out of the many products that they've produced. This is one of my very, very favorites, just because it's red, white, and blue, and it is unique. So um, as you obviously know, it has the sliding doors. Um, and of course, the brake wheel that's on there as well. But the detail on it is very, very good. Um, so that's for the O gauge part. For the HO gauge part, the Amtrak Genesis was recently fixed. I'll move my screwdriver out of the way. Um, this had this was recently installed with a um, Digitrax DH126 decoder. And see, I have five. Phase 4 streamlined passenger cars that are behind the engine. As you can see, the yard is full with the yard completely refigured, and it has a lot of cars in it, so which is good anyway. So I do have the rest of the freight set over there, and um, my engines are all there. Um, all the engines work great. That 6099, I did a test run with that. That engine is working perfectly. So I've run the Amtrak engine for a while. This will be one of the next uh, run, run videos that I will be doing since this engine is running smooth as silk. And also I have refed the, moved the terminal re-railer to here where it'll be easier for me to control and plus it gives me a little bit of extra cord room. So um, I come back to the top and that's pretty much it guys. It really isn't much to go through. Um, most of the layout has remained the same for the most part because I haven't worked on it too much. But I will be getting parts for uh, both of these cars very, very soon. So um, the wheels on the bottom of the box car are all put on there separately, as you can see here. It's like it was with that cattle car that I also rebuilt. Um, that screwdriver actually has a magnetic tip where you can set it up there like that and be done. Um, as you can see, the wheels on them are just about shot. Uh, they don't ride real smooth, and um, they're just worn out. So that's the purpose of a rebuilding program, uh, is to make them better. And actually, that 6-14078 truck is a scale die-cast truck. It allows the car to sit higher up on the rail, which is the reason I do like Lionel's newer tooling, plus it's easier to install, which I have done a, a how-to video on to install those trucks, it is a two-part series, and what I will do is I will drop a link in the description as well where you can actually take a look at that if you're deciding to rebuild cars. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and plus, Lionel has really made it simple where you can actually just pop the old ones out, put the new ones on, and you're finished. So they're the next two rebuild products I'll be currently working on, and um, I may be doing something special with this one here. Who knows? So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. Remember that tap that little notification bell. Got a lot of cool videos coming up. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night, guys. This is Engineer Pat 5290 out.